In this coding exercise, we have a very popular interview question, which is to generate a sum of numbers given a dynamic range. So in other words, if we are supplied with a number here in our method, so our method sum generator is gonna take an argument, and if it's 10, then our system should iterate through and find each one of the numbers, tally them up, and then the return value should be the total of all of those. So if that doesn't make sense, think of if we did put 10 in, we would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So what our program would need to do is to start and count 1, then 2. So the total at this point would be 3. Then it would go up and it would add the first 2 plus this one. So it would be 6. Then it would add 6 to 4, 10, and just keep on going down the line. And if you do it all the way, it would be 55. Now that's if there are 10, but it also should work if we passed in 500. It should simply take in whatever the value is and then be able to tally all of those up. There are a number of great methods in Ruby that allow us to do this. The first thing we're gonna do, if, and if you're attacking this problem from the first time you've never done this before, I would break it into stages. So first and foremost, I would create a range. So we know that we're going to need a dynamic range. So we need some way of generating all of those numbers. Because remember, we're only going to be given one of the numbers. And one way that we can do that is by saying one dot up to and then pass in whatever that value is going to be. And in this case, I'm going to cast it to an array, but we're not going to have to do that in our program. So here, if I say 1 up to 10, then you can see this gives us a collection of 1 to 10. This is exactly what we're looking for. So in our program, what we want to do is to take that. So we're going to take 1 up to and then pass in whatever the number is. So if we take in 10, then it's going to give us a collection from one to 10. If we take in 100, it'll give us one to 100. So this is exactly what we're looking for. Now that we have that, we can call the inject method. So what inject is going to do is it is going to tally all of these up. So if I say inject, and then I'm gonna use the Ruby shorthand syntax. And if you're preparing for a coding interview, this is usually what they're gonna to wanna to see. So the syntax for this is to take in the ampersand, the colon, and then the plus. And then what it's going to do is it's going to run this method on each item in the collection. So if we run it here, so right here, the way this would work is it would say, okay, I want you to keep track of one. Next, I want you to add two on top of whatever you kept track of, which was at this point would be just one totaled up, it'd be three. Now it keeps track, that's what inject does. It keeps track, it keeps a running tally of a value. And so that's what it's, that's what it, it's perfect for this. So we have three, then it goes up and it says, I want you to call the plus method on it again. So it's gonna add three on top of three, which will give us six. So this is exactly what we wanna do. And in fact, this is gonna give us our entire answer. So if I say sum generator, pass in 10, if I run this, this gives us 55, which we can already see from our test that that's our answer. And now if I run this, you can see it gives 5,050. So this is perfect. I'm going to delete this, delete this. Let's come run our code. It's January 10th. And there we go, one example, zero failures. So that is how you can build a dynamic sum generator in Ruby.